So I'm just here in Brookwood Cemetery where I was doing the Michael O'Dwyer shooting and something else also cropped up when I did my search and other notable graves here and a number of notable graves in Brookwood Cemetery because it's quite a large cemetery, quite a number of areas but I found out that in the Zoroastrian uh, section of the cemetery uh, consists the graves of a family that are well known throughout the world. Um, people in India, if you said who are the first business family of India, is their name that you would come up with and it's the Tata group um, who would come on, on the first of the lips of many uh, and it's quite fortunate that the mausoleums of three of the Tata members, the, ori the originator of that group, um, the man who started the company, Jamshedji Tata, two of his sons, Durabji Tata and Ratanji Tata, not to be confused with Ratan Tata, who's the chairman, the current chairman of the group. He was the chairman and then he stepped down and now he's come back again. Um, they actually are buried within this cemetery. Um, Ratanji Tata is the grandfather of Ratan Tata um, and I've been told that there are a number of mausoleums around here that are associated with the Zoroastrian community. I'm not sure if I'll find any others um, because I haven't got too much time to investigate here but I'll show you um, the mausoleums um, and what sort of condition that they're in um, and I'll see uh, exactly what sort of style they're in, the designs, uh, because I've never actually been to a mausoleum before. It's not, it's not really something I've explored before. But when I found out that they were buried here, I thought I've got to come, up, I've got to come down here because it's not too far from the Michael O'Dwyer grave. It's only about a, a five-minute walk. So coming here uh, and seeing this, I'll just show you from the outside of all three of them. Um, so what we have is Jamshedji Tatars is the one in the middle. The one on the left is. Durabji Tata, who's his eldest son, and Ratanji Tata, who's his younger son. So this is the mausoleum of Ratanji Tata, who actually is the granddad of Ratan Tata, who's the current chairman of Tata. So he's written here, Sir Ratan Tata, Sir Ratan Jamsedji Tata, born Bombay, India, 5th of January, 1871, died St. Ives, England, 5th of September, 1918. So this is his mausoleum. It's, um, he actually was a well-respected member of the family as well. Uh, a lot of what you see now is down to him. Um, and he is the granddad of Ratan Tata. Uh, he had two sons. He had one son actually, uh, Naval Tata, who is um, the father of uh, Ratan Tata. And uh, just showing you around his mausoleum. Uh, and just trying to get into Jamshedji Tata's mausoleum. So this is the man who's responsible for a lot of the business um, that we see coming from India. He's, I think he's, the Tata name itself is, is, is a source of pride and joy for a lot of the Indian community. But this says Jamshedji Nasarwanji Tata, born in Nausari, India, March 3rd, 1839, died now home Germany, May 19th, 1904. So I'm quite fortunate that I've been allowed into this mausoleum uh, because I don't think people are generally allowed access here, but I'm very fortunate that I've been allowed access in here uh, and I'm very, very grateful. Um, so I hope everyone appreciates this. Uh, this is the mausoleum of so it says Durabji Jamshedji Tata, who was the son of Jamshedji Tata. So Jamshedji Tata had two sons, Durabji was one and Ratanji was another. So this says, also lie buried in the ashes of Sir Durabji Jamshedji Tata, the last of his line, born 27th of August 1859, married 14th of February 1898, died 3rd of June 1932. So just seen the three mausoleums that are here uh, and I'm, I would say I'm very fortunate to be allowed access to them. Just to show you the outsides of um, each one and they are quite elaborate which you would expect. Um, I was just speaking to the caretaker here who allowed me access uh, into the mausoleums and he said that about five years ago um, Ratan Tata came here and he 
uh, paid his respects and there's normally quite an event that happens here. The Indian High Commissioner has been here, uh, a number of dignitaries also come here because his family is quite well known, is quite respected, is quite big. Uh, the companies that they own across the world um, from steel to telecommunications uh, to the IT industry to the automotive industry tea even, Tegli tea is owned by them uh, which we drink quite often in the UK uh, so this family is quite known and respected and I'm quite surprised that their mausoleums are here I did not know that they are buried uh, in this graveyard there is something else that's also um, been pointed out to me there's quite a few members of um, the family that are membered here. So we've got um, in affectionate memory of Jerbai, daughter of Nasarwanji Tata. Uh, Jerbai was the sister of Jamshed Ji Tata. So he, she's also here as well. Uh, and also Durabji S. Saklatwala, uh, who died in Manchester. Um, uh, 31st of March 1920. His son actually was an MP for Independent Labour, also Labour. He also joined the Communist Party of Britain as well. Uh, and there, I think there's a hall named after him in Southall as well, which is to the west of London. Uh, so it's quite interesting being here, uh, considering that um, I turned up here not knowing what to expect and the caretakers allowed me a lot more access into the area so I'll, I'll just have a quick look before he lo locks the doors to try and get some good footage here but you can see the uh, mausoleum here, the detail that they've got here and you've shown me the ceilings as well so have a look at the ceilings to see the designs that they've got. Uh, I just want to get a bit more of the writing here uh, to see if I can get a close up. But it is, fan it is fantastic being loud here. These were, sh these were shut, these were closed. And he saw me filming here. And then uh, he's allowed me access into these. But um, it is fascinating uh, subject, I think, um, to know that they've... So this, this is um, Jamshed Ji Tata's mausoleum. The ceiling's not as elaborate, but you can see a picture of him is down here. So this is the man himself. And this is his memorial stone. So yeah, something different um, that I've been able to bring to you. Uh, so I'm grateful for the opportunity for this.